and Gorsha, sir, are waiting for a bill to be passed by the Senate and the House for Gorsha to become a United States citizen. He must have this citizenship to compete in the Olympic Games. But who has this been harder on? Probably him. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't have to wait for my citizenship. I mean, I'm, I'm already an American. I'm, I'm free and clear. Um, that's, you know, that's a big issue for him. And so much is riding on him, you know, I... I guess this country gave me so much already, so I can't, um, I can't complain, really. Um, <laughs> I can just hope. <laughs> All we have is each other, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, well, we're in this together. If it affects you, it affects me. It's the way, it's the way it goes, I mean. You know, you can't, you can't separate it. You can't separate us. And, you know, if it doesn't work for him, it doesn't work for me. If it does, great for both of us. You know, we're together. And here they are. By now, we all know their story well. She a former U.S. national champion. He a Russian defector. He started it all with a tentative call on her answering machine. She returned the call and the rest is history. There are reigning national champions and in third place after the original dance. He incidentally is the first non-American citizen to win a U.S. title. They're skating to summertime. The title of the program is Whisper of Love. Complicated, difficult, interesting like this one, and striking. And they infuse it all with a heavy layer of emotion. Unfortunately, he just caught his heel right there on that barrier. Very unusual in ice dancing that you see mistakes like this. That theoretically should not hold them back too much, but it certainly will take some effect. This entire program was created on the floor and then transferred to the ice. Their 11th place finish at the World Championships was a real disappointment and I think they've wondered at times if they'll ever be accepted internationally. Incidentally, six of the nine judges from the world panel that judged that performance in Prague were suspended. If they had placed in the top ten, two teams from the United States would go to the Olympic Games, but that 11th place finish means only one team will go.
of influences in their skating. You see some of the rather unique moves that the Duchesnais have promoted. You see some of the line and elegance that Usa Vizulin and Kamova and Panamarenko have in their skating. Overall, it's an elegant, romantic love story. You know, they recovered so well, you almost forgot about the fall. The audience certainly has forgotten. Well, there are all kinds of falls in skating. They're the kind that disrupt the choreography and the program. And then there's the kind where the skaters go down, get back up again, and keep on moving, and you don't feel any disruption. It's unusual in ice dancing, though, to have something like this happen. He knocks her down as well as himself. And, of course, it's just an unfortunate moment in an otherwise very beautiful program. These moves, very difficult, very inventive, very creative. It'll be nice if he gets American citizenship in time to compete for the Olympic Games. And if he doesn't, well, they'll just have to wait until the World Championships later on next spring. And here are the marks for technical merit. They range from a low of 5.0 to a high of 5.4. And the marks for artistic impression much higher, from 5.4 to 5.8. And those marks clearly are not good enough to pull them up over Simicek and Mrepsova. Uh, frankly, I think their program was far more interesting, far more striking than uh, the Czech couples was. But that's the world of ice dancing. And coming up, the leaders of this competition, Sophie Magnat and Pascal Lavanchy of France. <laughs>